trying to remember where we summon. I think it's. You have to drop down first. The, yeah, I think it's at the place with all the gravestones, right? Yeah, you go in there, and that's where you see the special PvP summon things. Yeah. Okay. So I'll head in there and drop my sign. Yeah, Cave of the Dead proper. Cave of the Dead, more like Cave of the Bread. Bread. Damn it! <laughs> I got. I beat you to it. I found a rapacious Andre, which I'm pretty sure is just. That's an AI. I'm pretty Hashtag, sure. Hashtag, let's get this ruined Alphys. I've been playing through um, the Persona games, if you know about them. I'm oh, I love Persona. Yeah, I've been playing through Persona 3, the portable version. Ooh. On my phone, emulated. I fucking... I, I think I hit a bit of a difficulty spike, because I got to the... I'm in June. And, um, I hit this point in Tartarus where, like, they stopped being nice about the, um... Oh, yeah. Like, the the points, easy, like, teleport locations. At that point, it's pretty much going to so, be one, only every boss, and it's going to be starting in, like, runs of, like, 30 before you get a boss. Yeah. Also, so you're playing the portable version, and then... Yeah, the I, I did think about whether to play portable or FPS, I decided on portable. One reason was the female protagonist, who seemed to be just a better main character. Uh, and I know that's arguable. It's but debated, like, but she really doesn't go with the game's main theme. I know it, that she doesn't, but I like her more as a character personality, and the fact that you can directly control your teammates. That's yeah, was a big... I, as someone who's played through P3 several times... I, I heard that... I, I will play FPS probably after I finish this one because i do want to experience like the uh like both protagonist stories but like that just that alone i can tell would be just the hell to deal with like, also on portable you know it's got the whole complete visual novel thing going on yeah which bothered me at first but i got used to it it's not that bad you get used to it but it is a little odd yeah especially I, I you've played every game some later. sort of definitive edition that had both both protagonists and like all the Bells and Trinkets and the direct... Like, if there was, like, some sort of, like, edition that combined the best parts of the two of them, I think that'd be great. Atlas is but... definitely due for a uh, remaster of it. But then I, I looked it up on YouTube. I was looking at, like, videos and, like, reviews, and I saw a video where there was two guys basically spending 30 minutes talking about how that would be the worst thing ever. So <laughs> I don't know what to think anymore. Because, I mean, all they'd have to do is just... Make a new version, you know, pump, yeah, that's what I'm pump thinking. up the like, graphics the, a bit. They didn't have to do a remake, because I understand pure... I mean, Persona 3 has a lot of... I mean, it's it's clear that it's, like, the first modern Persona, because I've watched, like, gameplay and, like, a playthrough. Like, yeah, Persona 2 Persona <laughs> was a wild 1, game. My God, that's an archaic game. Like, holy shit. Like, per I'm sure it was good. I mean, I'm sure it was groundbreaking, but, like... Like, it is uh, old, old school. Like, you can so tell. So, here's a cool okay, thing. Right? Persona 1 was the one of the two Atlas games to get over localized. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. Which is why I have I, you know. I watch videos and write about <laughs> and the fact that they ripped half the game out of the North American localization because uh -huh. the, the translators were just fucking sick of it and just didn't want to bother and they had to rush out before Christmas. So they they basically just ripped half the game out. But the interesting thing is the whole all the files in the original Revelations Persona release, the whole Ice Queen quest was it Snow Queen or Ice Queen? Ice I Queen, I think. Yeah, the whole Ice Queen quest is still there, fully intact. It's just because of the fact that they finagled with the character sets internally to translate it to English, text is just broken gibberish. But, like, the whole game files are still in there, perfectly preserved. And that's why the fucking... My funniest thing about that whole localization to me is this because of the fact that in the Snow Queen... Like, the Snow Queen quest introductory cutscene is still there but it just does fucking nothing like it just inexplicably shows up if you go to the school in revelations persona the original release you go there the introductory cutscene plays because i guess they forgot to remove it and then you just are still at the front of the school like nothing happened it just makes no sense uh you see my sign 
Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Uh, I got the two AI signs, but nothing else. Hold on. Do I have a password set or any jank jankiness like that? Okay. I don't know. That that whole re-release sounds like it looks just like a fucking disaster in so many levels. Yeah, no. Revelation was bad. But, I mean, back to P3, like, just make, you know, pump the graphics a little bit, you know, let it be HD well, literally, and They that. could just be lazy and make an HD remaster. I mean, the game's art style works really well, that if you just added anti-aliasing and, like, a 1080p resolution, it would work fine. You know, just throw in a uh, female pro tag, just make some people happy. I mean, and, yeah, nothing hurts from it. I mean, unless you're playing Q2, she's not canon anyway, which makes me sad. But, and know. then, uh, for the love of God, add the ability to control your party members, so... Mitsuru is no longer mentally challenged. Because <laughs> she's a good party member, but her AI is one of the worst. I mean, she's I'm a horrible party this. member. <laughs> Don't even get me started on... She does on... end it. She does end it, but that's by killing herself. Don't get me started on Miss. I won't miss. <laughs> and the worst part is there's the only other heal dedicated healer in the game is even stupider. Fuck you, poor Yukari. Don't say anything about it. Please it's the fact party. that Ken's even dumber. <laughs> I, I shit you not, I've seen people fighting the final boss who at one point starts reflecting Zeo, and he just uses Zeo down and kills himself. <laughs> to be fair, direct control doesn't help because uh, I end sometimes, because sometimes I fuck up, forget to, like, forget the enemy's weakness or just aren't paying attention and then accidentally use the ability that gets blocked. Just looking at the bright side, at least your party members aren't being AIs and constantly draining oh, their yeah, SP. Oh yeah, I can tell how it would be a fucking nightmare. Yeah, no, long runs in Tartarus were not fun. Because uh, Yukari would only heal your sign? I don't know. Uh, where are you placing it? Uh, just right in the center. It's like the area with the, like, tombstone looking yeah, things on all the side, right? Yeah, follow the statues okay. and shit. I'm just gonna go back to the bonfire to reset it. That'll Let's work. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Although, I've already, I, I heard warnings that the story was extremely depressing, and I can already tell that that's clearly where it's going. Oh yeah. And I have been spoiled that one of the main characters dies. So, yeah. I haven't. You don't know who like, though. I do. I do know who he is, but I don't want to say it just in case two people, one of our two viewers, wants to play it. <laughs> That two of yours is saying a lot. Well, I mean, I guess I'm talking about the character that does not die in the ending, who I also know dies. But, I mean, that's, you know. Yeah. Kind of obligatory, because, you know, the fact that the answer exists and the main character the answer, I mean, it's pretty obvious. Uh, yeah, the journey of the answer. <laughs> Memento more and all that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty, pretty freaking obvious when you read between the lines of, like, you know, you know, like, yeah. Like, the female protag definitely has a lot to mess with a lot of the game's foreshadowing. Yeah. Because there's an actual reason why the normal male protagonist is such a fucking tool. <laughs> I cannot find your summon sign. Hold All right, on. I've got an idea. I am human, correct? Yes. You okay. see the other signs, you must be. I'm going to cancel it. Okay. And I'm going to drop down to the very, very entrance before this you get start getting shot at. And then put it down there. It better fucking work. So, like, the second drop? You mean? Yeah. Like, after the torches, drop down. See it? We did it, Reddit! Hooray! That Woo! finally made it work. Praise the sun. Now let's not remember how to go through this place and burn all your humanity. I was already planning on it. Now, would you believe this is the easiest one of these? Yes. The other ones are... Of course I would believe it. The other ones are nightmarish. But you remember the trick, just drop down and start looking for the exit. Oh yeah, I remember this. Okay, let's go. Found it. 
Go. That went surprisingly well. So we just want to run straight through the fog gate? Yep. Holy shit, there's a lot of things. Go to the fog gate. Okay. You remember the oh, trick. Circle strafe. Right. Hi, nerds. Hi, Havel. Thank God I put points into agility. <laughs> I don't want to get a Havel. Do you just run around until one of them is alone, right? That yeah, that's, that's what the trick is. I've got two of them on me right now. Because there's the bow. Yeah, I've got Havel the... on me. Yeah, there's Havel, bow, and... Oh, no. Oh, no. It's Knuckles. Because there's also the Dex Punk. Fuck! I'm bad. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rusty. <laughs> Oh, trust me, I've done an entire Dark Souls 1 race between this. I'm worried. Holy shit, you, you did a speedrunning race? Yeah, basically. You speedrun Dark Souls? That's awesome. It wasn't a, you know, super good speedrun, but it did a lot of the skips. Like, it did a boar skip. Yeah. Like, no glitchy skips and all that, but... It was all bosses except for Priscilla, because fuck the painted world, that's no fun. <laughs> you did... You, so you, well, actually, I mean, it's a live race, so yeah, you wouldn't grind for the black knight sword or black knight halberd uh so here's the funny thing i got every single black knight piece of equipment and oh my god without wanting to use it are in jesus but the worst thing was i got unlucky in other drops so i ended up having to grind for tyanite chunks because <laughs> in dark souls uh -oh. one the crystal lizards aren't guaranteed drops right which uh, meant i was low in chunks your sign this time huh Where'd you put your sign this time? Same oh, place. Down here? I'm in the okay. same place. How am I supposed to get back up? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Listen, this isn't here. I can't use Zoom. <laughs> get a nerd or praise in the sun. <laughs> Alright, no, it works this time. Let's go. I'm at half petrification. That's not good. You leave. Sounds like you're gonna get stoned. Ha ha! I'm funny. Oh shit. I'm gonna <laughs> that have was a... that was karma. I'm gonna have oh, a shit. bad time. Ha ha! We're in 2015 again because Sans didn't smash. Let's be honest, Harlan. The universe ended in 2015. We never left. And the mines the are right. We ended in 2011. And... Yeah, exactly. I mean, that was the last time the world made sense, from my personal experience. Or who was that crazy conspiracy theorist who said the world was going to end? Uh, in, back in 2011? There are like seven. Oh, yeah, fair. yeah, that one guy. You saw the video on him too, huh? Oh, no, I know about him, though. Because I remember from that time period. Back in that time period, I was very isolated, so I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Jokes on you. I'm. Oh I'm, God. I'm not as isolated. I still don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. Like no internet isolated. I may be studying political science, but I'm still fucking confused as to the fuck. I can't. Gr Stupid boys mechanics. Oh God. Working oh God. Mind. Wait. Fuck. I forgot they put the statues down here. Like that's just rude. They're all going for you. Oh no. Havel came down to join me, and so did the Dex guy. Okay, now they're going after me now. Oh God. Hold on, sunlight bleeding up. I'll and now the bow there. guy's down there too. This is just yeah. terrible. <laughs> you go down and get bow, I'll distract Dumb and Dumber. Alright, I did a lot of damage to him. Yeah, uh, you, you're heavy a build against a bow, it should go quickly. Tell me if they're coming after me. Uh, no, they're both after me. I'm just walking in circles and they're trying to plunge attack me. Or, you know, run attack me. How does a heavy attack not successfully break this guy's guard? He's wearing light Because he's armor. a boss. And this game was in play fair. Oh, fuck. Fucking dex builds. Are you, we, have a, we have a katana using dex build. Got him. Oh, guy. Down. I'm still amazed he, didn't, he does not open the fight with, with bowing. Alright, let's be mean. 
Oh no, he's gonna be mean back to me. No, fuck Havel, no! You, no, Havel. you go heal, I'll lure him. Yeah, no, it's fine. Alright, now let me okay. heal, please. Okay, I'll, I'll distract him. Oh, that sword guy's still on you. Katana nerd. Every now and then you just. Nerds. Every now and then the katana idiot goes to try and go after you. Fuck. Oh, now he's dual wielding. He's in nope. try hard mode. Don't tell me he's gonna, is Hal gonna plunge attack my. Oh, he's gonna try. No, he didn't. Wait, where's the. Where's the exit? Okay, there it is. <laughs> On the bright side, only one's after you, because I've got the other guy. Yeah. Come on. Shit. Alright, one more. Alright. You keep trying to stagger Havel as if that's ever going to work. Unless this is Dark Souls 1. Oh, you're great. No. He used an SS, but I backstabbed him, and it did not even do nearly enough. Okay, come on now. That was literally a backswing. We're gonna do this the old fashioned way, buddy. I've played Dark Souls 1. I can backstab Luba Havel yeah, any day of the year. No, literally. Dark Souls 1, that's how I always fight Havel. I just backstab Loop, because I don't care. No, that's the, that's the only way, unless you're like a parry bot. <laughs> well, we just kind of 2v1 him. It's what you do to Havels in PvP. Oh god! Yeet. No. Yeet! I just yeet it on him! Haha, <laughs> 2015! Haha! <laughs> That's not even a 2015. Let me go I'm find this statue to turn to myself to stone. <laughs> so you can get out of this hell. Ha, 2015. Ha 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 funny. Ha 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 ha. Uh, which way? Is the way with the, is the place with all the statues the path out? Uh, I don't want to go back the way I came. Yeah, it's not that way. Just so you know how they're on one end of the arena. Is it the smaller or the bigger opening? Uh, oh, that's that's the wrong way. Okay, I figured it out. Okay. Yeah, I found the right path. Blackweed bomb. Don't give up, Paula. Metal mimic. No. Okay, good. Oh god, I don't even remember where the hell we are anymore. Oh, flower skirt. Fashion we go to the Sanctum activated. Block, I think. And... What? Wait, this just leads back to the... Yeah, it was this for a few items. Okay. Uh, what's up with all the blood stains here? This makes me incredibly nervous. Dark Souls 2. Oh, it's because people ran off like morons. Well, not even that. It, it, it's Dark Souls 2. What do they do best? Yeah, all of these blood stains are just people running off this this cliff to get this item. Falling to their they all chalk so. All right, so go to the main bonfire for this area. Uh, I'm just trying to find my way back. To actually, the, first uh, I'm gonna spend souls. Oh, there's an item chest. Okay, let me grab this chest first. Dark Greatsword. Bear of the Curse. Seek, seek. <laughs> seek, seek, less, less. Well, there we go. 50, 40, 40, 40. Now what do I do? YOLO! No, I actually made it. Points in the decks. Okay, I did it. I did it. I did it. I didn't die. I, I, I accomplished my goals. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, so yeah, I go to here. the yeah, Sanctum Walk, the first bonfire. Yep. For the when we go up next. An cut, right? Yep, that's what it is. Okay. I'll throw my sign down because I want you to lose the humanity first. <laughs> Fair enough. Because we know, remember, sirs, what we're going to is an area with a lot of ledges too. 
And I don't remember how to do it properly because I dropped through it the first time. And I've only gone through this area once. Oh, I don't want to level up. I remember. I just want to get some... Uh... Yourself. <laughs> Uh. See here. Do I have anything I can reinforce? It's been so long, none of us can remember. Yeah, I can't remember anything. About I... What I was up to. Like, have we killed Vendrick yet? I don't remember. I think so. Yeah, because I remember that being a bit of a struggle. Yeah, because you didn't do all. Yeah, yeah, you had a harder time because you didn't get all four giant souls. Because yeah, you said so fuck it, it to the ancient dragon, because you didn't want to kill the ancient dragon, both for the fact that you felt it was morally the wrong, and because that fight's horrible. Yeah, both for the fact that it was morally wrong, and for the fact that the fight was an absolute fucking nightmare. Yeah, because so, I remember I, I summoned like... you for it, and you died instantly. <laughs> yeah, like the five times we tried to do it. I did it eventually, I remember that much, because no, I have no. five souls. Oh, I know you did, but it was a pain. Yeah, no, it's not a good fight. It, one of the worst in the series. And this is coming from someone like, that played through Demon Souls. Just... <laughs> so you know I've got an authority authority on this subject. Is that you? Yep. Hooray. Well, what is it? That was actually welcome, not well, what is it? Same difference in this game. <laughs> Same difference. Now that's a phrase. It sure is. By the way, how does these elevators work? Don't question it. Magic. <laughs> I mean, yeah, obviously, but like... There's not even any connections. Ma-jic. So. Where's the fucking... Magic. And I'll tell you how it's powered. Here, let me. Maybe if I examine the floor better. Hmm. Oh, my character's uh, horrifying head. Oh God! <laughs> Good old not My character's eternally depressed, and your character's just. Your character's Goro Ketchy. <laughs> <laughs> That sure is a way of saying it. Yay, now I can reference Persona meme. I do love delicious pancakes. Now I've become a <laughs> borderline weeaboo at this point. Alright, now we go this way. Yeah. Good old pancake boy. <laughs> I still cannot believe that that was a serious plot thing. Like, I, I thought know. it was just like a meme where it was like... You know, I know about the pancakes meme, but I always thought it was like, oh yeah, he's obsessed with pancakes. No! no. <laughs> it's, it's a fucking, fucking plot point! It's like a pivotal plot! You know like, what the fucking worst thing was? When I first heard heard it, I was like, oh my god, is that seriously how they're gonna tell us? Because I saw him on the, you know, the box cover, and I'm like, okay, yeah, he, and you know, like, the Phantom Thieves are bad, or, 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 or okay, he's the traitor, and then just heard that, and like, oh my god, really? Because that's immediately yeah, how I know, knew. And it was amazing watching Joseph Anderson... You know who he is? The, uh... Is that the guy who ha hated Makoto? Uh, I don't know. He was the guy who did a lot of the... Um... He, does... he did a lot of video essays, like professional video essays. But, like, low-key, he's also, like, an incredible, like, streamer who does, like, Danganronpa and, like, Persona and a lot of these Ah, yes, games. Ron Paul. <laughs> Ron Paul. That's what it's called, right? Also, we're totally going the wrong way. Yeah, I was about to say, like... 
This is where he came from, but we activated the thing down there, which means anywhere could have been where the entrance to the boss is, but we don't remember where anymore. Right. Yeah, my, I, I vague, very vaguely remember some stuff. But I was going to say, Joseph Anderson, I should show you some highlight videos of his streams, because Joseph Anderson, the video essay guy, like very professional video essay guy, and Joseph Anderson, the streamer, are like two completely different people in the best kind of way. <laughs> Memory serves, he's the guy who, I think I saw a highlight video, and like, at one point, he makes fun of the, you know, useless things, like, every time someone even remotely mentions the word useless, it does the flashback. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, that, that, that guy. Because, yeah, we did this fucking thing. So it's just I, trying to figure out where that was activated. I watched the stream archive of him reacting to the whole, you know, super big twist that, spoiler alert to viewers, uh... That of how Joker basically they they trick Goro Okechi and like escaped it, and he was just fucking like losing his mind and like he was complaining so much because he was just trying to like come. and he was like, I mean he had a few valid points but like he was just that is one thing I don't like about him is that when it comes to these big plot twists he tends to like over obsess over really small nitpicks or like you know what I mean right like. Sometimes, yeah. like, I completely understand and empathize him for it a lot of the time, but, like, sometimes he, like, goes into, like, what about this particular, like, plot element, and, like, couldn't this be a plot hole and all this, and it's, like, where the satisfaction is an explanation, and I'm, like, dude, it it's fucking Persona 5, right? This story is, like, 100 They cut out an entire character because it took so fucking long. And now they're bringing it back for Persona 5 Royale. Uh, it's, people aren't sure if that actually is the same character. Oh, well, I know the whole... At one point, Hufumi was going to be a playable character. Oh, oh So that's yeah, who it yeah. was. Now People are pretty mean. sure. Oh, yeah, but, this like, place. We're here. The term arc that I guess they're bringing back was originally, I guess, supposed to be in the game, but got cut time and because it's... Yeah. Yeah, welcome to platforming. See, so, yeah, on my very first time through here, I just kind of skipped the whole thing accidentally. Oh, yeah, I know. But I, I recognize this part. Yeah, I've seen it before. Yeah, like, you've seen this area, but you never played through it before. Oh, exactly. Yeah, so I don't know the details. Oh, hello. So yeah, this play- Oh, this is just another player. Well, it's not, but you know. Feels oh, like I it. See. I see. Uh, some oh. things never change. Uh, I forgot to equip my SS There we go. I'll just casually sit here while you fight the dude. There we go. Some <laughs> things really never change. Click oh, be useful. Oh, uh, well, this guy just- but through my powers, oh right, right. Through my powers of uh, magical, magical, uh, what's it called? You're being a magical girl. Yeah. Yeah. Through my uh, anime magical girl powers, I could tell that there's an enemy right there because first it immediately homed in on. <laughs> Press these buttons because I'm not legally allowed to. Oh right, sorry. It's oh, over well, here. that guy is pretty obvious. It's not a very good hiding spot. Uh oh. Curse six. Oh no! Wait, what? Oh, Surf? I'm up here now. Is there a fake wall? Holy shit! There's four lizards. Go. No. Oh, nice. Got there's, two of them. There's some more out here, but I can't touch them because I can't because right, I'm legally sorry. obligated to not touch buttons. You fool! I failed. <laughs> nice lesson. Uh, is there no hidden walls or anything here? I filled it around, but I can't tell. Oh. Okay. My turn. <laughs> Alright, see how this place leads us. There is an... Oh, there's open chests. Oh, shit. If we put the pendant in there, we'll unlock the super secret. Right? Oh, uh, yes, the 13th Colossus. <laughs> Well, that was fruitful. Did you know in the PS4 remaster they actually it they actually added a se a secret sword yeah, for finding the thirteen? Cool. Oh no! Chuck zone. Uh, Who got the chuck? You got the chuck. 